Hello there! As you might have already guessed, I'm playing a heavily modded version of City Skylines. Specifically, I use 6471 custom assets and 113 mods. And of course, that comes with huge performance issues. So there are two bottlenecks in modded City Skylines that cause the performance issues. First, CPU multithreading is not fully supported for all calculations the game has to do. Upgrading to a better CPU would take a lot of money for only a slight performance gain. Second, the more custom assets and mods you use, the higher your RAM usage. So my modded game uses 39GB of RAM according to the loading screen mod. However, I only have 16GB installed. The rest of the files have to be cached in a so-called page file onto my SSD. So while an SSD is fast, it is significantly slower than RAM and that causes constant hiccups from loading and pushing files mid-game. Thanks to generous Twitch subs and bids, I was able to buy 32GB of RAM. Now will it improve performance and if so, by how much? I'm timing the load time from the splash screen until the white box truck in-game starts driving. The reason for that is because even after getting in-game, there's still some stuff being loaded in until the simulation actually starts running. Now with 16GB of RAM, the load time is 7 minutes 11 seconds, with a RAM usage of 11GB in my physical RAM and the remaining 28 being cached into a page file. So let me unpack my new RAM, put it in my PC and measure again. Time to load and run the simulation now is 6 minutes 23 seconds. The physical RAM loads a maximum of 25GB and then settles at roughly 20. The remaining 14 to 90GB are cached in the page file. Now let's finally answer the question, how much of a performance increase do we actually see? Well here's the truth, 1 FPS. Yes, I'm not kidding, 1 FPS looking at the same area in the old town. But here's the actually important thing. So moving the camera around now causes way less stutter from constantly pushing and loading files to and from the SSD. Here's a side by side comparison. While FPS barely increased, the game now runs and feels much smoother moving the camera around during live gameplay. Okay, now with the performance upgrade out of the way, let me say thank you to over 500 subscribers here on YouTube and nearly 500 of you as well on Twitch. Now, new videos and streams should be much, much smoother, and that's all thanks to you. See you in the next one, and bye-bye.